You think you're smart, huh? We all think we're smart, and we know not. But then, because we know not, and we seek to know what we know not, and at some point, we come to know what we knew not before. And what we've come to know, uh, I don't know. I guess then now you knew, now you know what you knew not. So, on that note, we're going to talk crazy. You want to think outside the box. What do you do? It's just the first thing you do. Google it. What happened to picking up some paper? I know books aren't um, always accessible, and I know they can be cumbersome. But uh, thinking outside the box is uh, definitely not this. <laughs> you know, this this is at your fingertips a, a device at your disposal. But um, yeah, thanks to the power of silicone. You know, silicone and silica. You know, are uh, pretty close to each other in nature. And uh, silicone's a transmitter. And what I tell you, you were. You're a transmitter. That's a transmitter right there. That's a transmission. You are the, uh, you are the satellite dish, man. You are the LFO. You're a walking LFO, and you're you receive it. You're like a walking. You're like a walking cell phone tower, but organic one. You see, and everything's been made. You know, stuff's getting synthetic at this point. I I told you so. It's an elemental life we live, man. This is a, this is an alchemy pot, man. You see this? <laughs> this is an alchemy pot. Take that shit, man. Really though, take a take a take a close look. This is the alchemy pot, man. This is where all the cooking is done. The pot is the lid. We're in between. And you know, I told you, you are a walking transmitter and a receiver. You're a receptor. What do you receive? You're recepting all this crap. And then, since it's an alchemical world and the elemental life that we're living, and a son of photo that we're living, you see, what happens? You go through changes. You go through molecular changes. Your molecules will change on you. You know, it's a number thing. And uh, like I said, okay. Sound and light are very important. They are the key to why we are even here. But you have to also understand that words are magic spells. This is the real English that we're supposed to be speaking right here. Uh, stuff we're supposed to use, but you know, it's just dumbed down. And they don't even use this in the UK. I know it. But I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. And see. When I was, when I put this up here, I was referring uh, to this. Silica. Silicone, yeah, but we'll change it. Hold up. Silica. Look at that. What's that? A tetrahedron? That's one of those, uh, Plutonic uh, shapes, solids. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Don't deny yourself of the truth either. I knew not before. You see, and now I come to begin to know. And now I will show, improve things that I'm learning and try to share this. This is look. How do you think that square is so powerful? It's a square. What does the moon do? It moves the water. It controls the tides. 
That's some powerful stuff, man. You think about that? My human. You thinking about this up here, though? You gotta think up here, though. You gotta come up here. Come up here to this purple. To the higher. Come up here with me. And with the rest of us that are even on this frequency. You gotta get tuned in. Get on this. Come to the higher areas of the mind. Right here. This is where you need to be. You need to power that up. Take your bad habits, your old bad habits. Toss them. Get rid of them. Let your your uh, serpentine energy rise, man. Let that let that come up here. You gotta get to a higher mind. You gotta have fire. You know what I mean? You gotta have the higher mind elements. I'm not saying that these are the be all end all. No, these are just my crystals, but what they represent. You know, healing. Shit and old habits, man. You gotta get rid of shit. That's baggage. Where's that baggage come from? This. Right here. Your water's getting banged out. Get banged out like no tomorrow. Like a, uh, a free uh, harem on deck, walking the street, open house. Your water's is getting banged by your device. So you're not thinking out of sight, no box. This is exactly what you're thinking in. This is what you think of. This is what you want. It's the first thing you grab in the morning. You gotta check it. Oh, uh-oh. What did they say? Oh, what's on TV? Ho. Oh. Hey, man. No, no. You ain't thinking outside of you. You all in the box. You so boxed in that they couldn't even get you out the ring. <laughs> even if they docked you on top of the ropes, they still couldn't get you out. That's how boxed in you are. Huh? Ah, uh, because of what? Chaos, the square wave, unnatural, causes our harmonics, shuts off half the brain. Whoa. Moves waters. Moves waters and who? Moves waters and you. And it moves waters in the sea too. Am I wrong? What is it doing? Hmm? And I'll be damned if they're, uh, these things right here, listen, I'll be damned if they're one's bigger and one's smaller. Because, uh, you can clearly see when an eclipse happens, what happens? One goes in front of the other. Of course, light's gonna go around the object that emits none, that only reflects of, uh, off of what, of what provides the light. Ain't no bigger size, you know, between the two. Otherwise, it would look crazy. Man, come on, man. The way it looked, it looked like Saturn. When I seen it. So, uh, I don't know. But, uh, that's what I saw. And I, listen, I don't get high. I'm not on that level. So, I'm telling you. You can think what you want. But, um, these are the serious, uh... This is serious. Sine wave. You're riding it. And they're dividing it. This is how it works. Everything's divided up. That's how it goes. It's split right down the middle. Bang. And that's why it's the alchemical pot of change. So, if your waters are getting banged out constantly by transient information... By sound, by light, what happens? Your DNA structure starts changing. Why? Cell, cell membrane, nucleus, mitochondria, lysosome, ribosome, cytoplasm. You got the nuclear membrane. Nuclear, you start thinking about nuclear power plants. Wow. Endoplasmic reticulum, centriole, and Golgi apparatus. Uh, what's an apparatus? A device for something, right? You know that word. If you don't know that word, then I don't know. Suggest start reading more dictionaries or something. Anyway, look. I'm not trying to say I, I'm some genius. I'm just trying to be a bird messenger and show you some shit. And, I mean, the proof's in the pudding. You can clearly read 
if you can't read I suggest you get a tutor and learn to because this is important and I'm just spreading it so if you can't read listen close cuz I'm telling you shit cuz I give a shit and this is to be told so since we're in this alchemical pot you are what you eat what do you eat well you're physical you're always hungry. You're always thirsty. Not every second of the day, but that urge comes as it comes, right? You might have what? Vice. And it might not just be a device. It might not be your stupid little phone or your little tablet or your iPod or whatever. It might not just be that. Your device might or your your vice might be cigarettes. Your vice might be hard narcotics. You might like to smoke a little herb. That's cool. I feel you. You might need to vape. You a, a e cigarette smoking rob robot. You now you smoke electron electronic cigarettes. Come on, man. Electronic cigarettes. <laughs> man, that is the funniest, man. That's killing me. Vaping. I mean, I can understand vaping certain shit, but damn, man. <laughs> That's like to the extreme. Everything's like electronic now. I'm surprised the food is not electronic. You feel me? Because, like, that's what I'm saying. If you are what you eat, you're eating. Look, you eating sound and light here all day. What's that doing? Changes your water and your melanin, your DNA. Bang, boom, bow. Scry mirror. Whew. Go look at yourself in the blackness and go see what you see. Mm. You might see a demon and you might be like, what, what, you know what I'm saying? You might be like, I see a demon in me. Oh, do you? Ooh. Well, do you see one behind you or something? I don't know. Take a closer look. See, that's what happens when they're off. I don't know. Check it out. But, I'm look. Go look up a scrying mirror and see what it does. If you, you know what I'm saying? If you can't spell it, there you go. So, uh, what if you eat... PBS, not Pittsburgh Broadcasting Station. I know you would like to think that. No. Processed bullshit. PBS. You know, junk food. It's uh, filled with a bunch of crap. What are you doing? Uh, you're feeding yourself. And you think you're getting nourished or you think you're getting fed or whatever. But there's a difference between the two. You don't. There's a difference between getting nourished and, and, and getting fed, man. Right? Like there's a there's a big difference. Nourishment is getting the right nutrition. Getting fed is just getting some shit shoved in your mouth and being told to be content about it. You see? That's what it is. We're like the elements, man. This is what it is. I'm telling you. What do you What do you drink? H2O. That's water. Two hydrogen, one oxygen. Had an A in chemistry. Um, that's one of the most basic things we all should know that. But I'm telling you, if you drank elemental hydrogen, you would be more replenished than water. Just think about it. Oxygen, we breathe. But we breathe in uh, along with a whole bunch of other crap that's harmful in the environment. You might smoke. You might walk past a semi-truck to just <laughs> all types of shit in your face. You know, uh, public transportation is smoking around. You know what I mean? Big machines. There's always some type of mechanical stuff which throws you off. You know what I'm saying? So all that, all that plays in tune. That's what that's your oxygen, though. But you drink H2O. If you had just hydrogen, you'd be, I'm telling you, way more replenished. You'd be surprised what gold does if you ingest it. Gold, raw gold found out the ground, like kind of like how crystals grow. And you crush it up, put it in a drink and ingest it slowly over time. Magical properties. Raises your frequency. What I tell you, your vibrational frequency. Whoa. Man, will you be on a high one? Um, uh, precious metals, they do stuff like that. You know? 
and when you have certain amounts of metals in you, you know, that that will affect your skin tone. Like if people who eat a lot of vegetables a lot, they, they often have a bronzy or skin tone, you know what I mean, complexion. Some don't, but some do. But why? Because that's the melanin in the plants. And then, because plants have melanin too, just like us. And I'll show you, of course I have to, I have to go to my device, you know what I'm saying? Because I have to pull these pictures up because I don't have them on paper for you right now. I have to pull it up. But if you look at these uh, pictures of the, the plant cell and the hemo, you'll clearly see if I can get it to even show. If I can get it to show, you see that? Hemo and the chlorophyll. It's almost almost exactly alike. Look at that. We have iron, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. They have magnesium, nitrogen. You see? And that's crazy. That's that's heavy. But so think about that for a second. But like I said, so you feed your urges. You drink water. You know, you're thirsty. You're hungry. You know? You gotta go to the bathroom. Your heart's pounding when you see that badass broad you wanna go talk to. You know, you gotta take a crap. You gotta go pee. You gotta go to sleep. You wanna be loved. You wanna fight. You wanna be left alone. You wanna be this, you wanna be that. Oh my goodness. But then it swirls into that. All those urges that need fulfilled, but you are what you eat. So if you eat bull crap, then your body will become too is that because it's the alchemical world, elemental world that we live in and dwell in. The molecular structure, you know, this is what it is. And uh I suggest eat light food for a light body. Because what, what, what dwells within you? The void. Dark matter is what binds you. But the void of darkness. How do you fill the void? You fill it with light, obviously. So light food for a light body. Do you eat meat? Meat's cool. I understand it. Sometimes Not a lot of it's good, though. And then, you know, think about the, think about the dead. Say if you raised your own meat. That's fresh. You don't know who mistreated your food before you ate. If you're eating a dead corpse of a mistreated animal, think about what you're eating. You know what I'm saying? That's heavy. I mean, I need that bacon, baby. You know, like I'm frying it up. I need that, but um, hey. You know, it's rough. It's rough. That's why I say you gotta break free. You gotta break free, man. Because you get locked in, you get so you get so gritted down, see? That's what happens. Did your L your your uh your inner thoughts what happened when I tell you the L huh doesn't it doesn't flow freely it's not your own why not all because of the device but your vice the vice of you when you need to get down here get over up in this and flow freely see I know you're like well dude that's not gonna take all this away yeah I know but see it starts with the transient thought you see once you get the ball rolling and if it goes downhill if you get that lucky I mean I guess if you're going downhill it's pretty easy it's an easy maneuver I mean shit's going downhill all the time so you just gotta get the ball rolling you know and do something like that it's heavy man I'm talking noise I'll catch you on a flip I gotta uh, probably wrap this up right now and go do some things load some patches uh, get this blow field tutorials ready for granular synthesis show how you how it's done properly and in depth way and uh, talk about probably some form and vocal speaking
A E I O U, sometimes Y and yada 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 yada. Remember, every word you speak is a magic spell. And um, if you're a zombie. If you are a zombie, to me, you are this. You are artificial. You have Nathan in you. And if you have a baby by something like that, or whatnot, this is a zombie reproduction factory. So you won't be seeing any dead, uh, creepy people running around eating like that. But you will see uh, these lightless, non-photon uh, beings walking around, which is often are a lot of people. And if they're not that, Guess what? Their light's been turned off. Because the thoughts are not their own. Your light's been turned off. It is no longer your home. Peace, Dr. Crow.